welcome to another episode of the marathon life's not a sprint it's a marathon and it's sunday which means it's time for another q a i've showered i'm ready just drinking some water out of my britney spears cup from her vegas show have any of you seen it i would really like to go see the backstreet boys in vegas but i've only been to vegas once and i wasn't a huge fan to be honest so i don't know if i need to go back and try it again. I know people who go like multiple times a year, but anywho, that's not what we're talking about today. We're talking about your questions and my answers. I'm having a really nice Sunday morning so far. It is 10 to 10 and I have no plans today. So I've just been kind of like puttering. Thomas and I had a bit of a lay-in, which was lovely. Talked to my sister-in-law on the phone, or we were texting, sorry. I talked to Farm on the phone. And today's actually the 15 year anniversary of my dad passing away. So I think Thomas and I will go up to the cemetery at some point. I uh, posted a really fun picture on Instagram and Facebook this morning from my grad from high school dance with him and I. It's like this one where my I'm like laughing and it's great. Anyway, so uh, also in my lazy Sunday today. I was gonna wash my makeup brushes, but then I thought I better do my makeup first or I'm gonna have nothing to do said makeup with. So that's what we're gonna do. My makeup and we're gonna chat. Thanks for all of your questions. Like I say every week, if I don't answer your question, don't worry. I just add it to this big list that I have going because these videos I feel like are already so long. <laughs> I know you like them and I like them and it's a fun way to know like what you're interested in and what you want to talk about. So this is my Marcel foundation which I know some of you have been talking about trying or trying. A friend of mine sent me a picture of her. She tried it and she just looked beautiful. I love it. The other day I didn't put on foundation. Oh god. Don't get on your lips though. <laughs> And I really noticed a difference. I like, I'm happy with how my skin looks. So I thought, oh, I'll just do powder and concealer. And I missed the foundation. Anyway, <clears throat> it's about your questions, not me rambling. Well, it is about me rambling. Anyway, this one's from Paige who says, love your makeup so fresh. Thank you, Paige. Do you have any ideas of what to spend the money we donated on or is it in the savings bank? Love to you and T-Bone. Thanks Paige and thanks for donating. If you aren't familiar, after Jeremy passed away, my friend Jessica started this You Caring and it exploded. So many people donated and were so generous. Like I wish that I was given everyone's email address so I could thank them, but <clears throat> a lot of money was raised. So my plan for the money basically is to use it for Thomas therapy that I have to pay for or respite so that I can have a break. Some of it I'm going to invest so that it grows because obviously I have Thomas's entire future to think of. So that's what I'm going to use the majority of the money for. And then a very small portion of it I've used for, you know, a little bit of changes to the house or it's just a little nest egg in case like something breaks. Like I had a nightmare last night that the toilets exploded in my house. Just so funny that I just remembered that. But that's like one of my fears, right? Is like stuff breaking around the house and me either not being able to afford it or not being able to know what to do, etc. So that's what it is. Um, and I might try and take Thomas and I on a vacation at some point. So that's the majority. Nothing crazy. Just help with Thomas is what I'm going to be using it for and I'm so eternally grateful. Mrs. K. Keaton Newton says, so as I'm watching your videos I only see your little man being oh so well behaved. Do you have any videos where you show his not so good behavior due to meltdowns if he can't communicate or do you have most of that under control so to speak? My daughter will be two in December. She has meltdowns a lot. She's nonverbal, and we're looking into the possibility of autism. So Thomas, I he doesn't have like full blown meltdowns, to be honest. He has like a few seconds of a tantrum and then that's kind of over. Um, and it's basically like when Elmo's done <laughs> or if I'm asking him to do something that he doesn't want to do. He doesn't really get 
frustrated that he can't communicate and I don't know if that's just because I'm so good at reading him but also I don't have any video of it because I would I don't think to pick up the camera and vlog it um, I usually just drop everything and get like right down to his level and help him so I'm not opposed to it but I guess I'm saying like filming wouldn't be my first instinct and it doesn't really happen Oh, hello. Um, but that's because, you know, he doesn't, he just doesn't really have big meltdowns, to be honest. And when he is frustrated because he's not getting his way, I know what he wants. I'm just not giving it to him. Or if I don't know what he wants, that's all my energy and focus is to figuring it out. So I'm sorry, that's probably not the answer you were hoping for. But I do wish you the best of luck in your daughter's journey and to getting some help because I remember when he was two and it was incredibly scary and frustrating. But like I said in last week's video, once you do get a diagnosis, if you do get a diagnosis or you at least get some help on what's going on, as scary as it is, it helps so much, like infinite amount of help. Shannon asked, you recently asked what our favorite apps are. I'm curious what yours are. Do you think you'll do a review of the Headspace app you mentioned? I talked about Headspace in last week's Q&A. That's definitely one of my favorite apps. I don't have a ton, to be honest. Just like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. It's Redhead Mare everywhere if you're not following me. Instagram is probably my favorite. And Facebook. Um, I don't Snapchat a ton just because I daily vlog and I never want to include the same content in a daily vlog and an Insta story and a Snapchat. To me, that's like so redundant and vlogging is always my first priority. So I find that I go on Snapchat and Instagram more, Instagram stories more on Sundays because I'm not vlogging because I just do these videos. What other apps do I like? Headspace Studio, which is an app if you're a YouTuber, helps you on the back end of your videos. I'm very boring. To edit my photos, I just use like the iPhoto <laughs> and PixArt. If I'm ever doing like a collage, this is the most boring answer ever. The YouTube app. Amelia asked, does it ever get overwhelming? for you to have people talk to you about their mental health issues or the issues their loved ones experienced. It gets overwhelming, but to be honest, my response when it's someone who has a loved one is usually the same, or if it's someone who's suffering themselves, it's like, talk to your doctor, like, I'm not an expert. So, it just, I think it's overwhelming because it just makes me sad to know how many people are suffering and how much of a stigma there still is. Thomas? been like carting around this bowl of Cheerios all day. I just am finding Cheerios everywhere. <laughs> I think I just heard them all fall down the stairs. I find I'm so over all over the place in these videos. <laughs> yes, it gets overwhelming. I don't mind it though because I feel like it's so important to talk about it and it's so important to be honest and to be open and to be vulnerable and to not suffer in silence and the more you talk about it, the more you'll realize how many other people suffer and how many other people have suggestions or tips and tricks that help them. Um, I don't shy away from it, but you'd probably be surprised to know how many messages I get all the time from people saying they're suffering or their husband's suffering and they don't know what to do or their kids are suffering and that breaks my heart. Yeah, so I'm always here. I'm always someone that you can open up to but I will always deflect to like talk to your doctor, talk to a professional because I can't, I, I, I'm not an expert and I would hate to give someone the wrong advice. MC asked question, you call one of your friends your wife, sorry I can't remember her name, Jessica, and I'm curious where that nickname came from. <laughs> I texted Jess, she's like, I was like, inquiring minds wanna know why I call you my wife. She's like, that's amazing. Well, Jess and I 
lived together for a very brief, beautiful time. And she just became like one of my absolute closest friends. We, it's crazy that we have been friends for 12 years and we only lived in the same town for six months. One year she gave me a, an ornament that said for my wife and I loved it. <laughs> and we just started calling each other. There's no real backstory. We just started calling each other wife and it's just stuck. So that's boring, but I still have that Christmas ornament. It goes on my tree every year. <laughs> Victoria asked, what's your favorite thing about living in the Okanagan? The people, I guess. The weather, the lack of traffic, safety, I feel safe. What's your favorite type of coffee? Do you put, what do you put in it as creamer to flavor it? Oh God, I always like crazy over blush when I'm doing my <laughs> Q&As. Oh God, speaking of over blushing, it makes me think of clowns. Did I just put two different colors? No, we're good. I always worry like when I'm using a quad and not paying attention, but like, I feel like that movie, It, is being crammed down my throat. I don't want to see it. I don't want to see promos for it. I don't like horror movies. It freaks me out. But everywhere I look, everywhere I go, there's like stuff for it. I hate it. What is my favorite type of coffee, Victoria? Oh my gosh. Kicking Horse 454 ground coffee. Yeah, bet you didn't think I'd be that specific. If I'm making coffee at home, that is absolutely my favorite. In fact, that's what I'm drinking right now. Oh God. Oh God. Ta-da, in my Little Engine Wines mug. It's already cold. <sighs> Hashtag mom life, am I right? People used to say to me, like, when I w went back to work from mat leave, like, what's your favorite thing about being back to work? Hot coffee. <laughs> being able to drink a whole cup of coffee without microwaving it twice. So yeah, the Kicking Horse 454 ground coffee is my favorite kind of coffee. I also really enjoy a dark roast from Starbucks. What do I put in it for creamer and to flavor it? I just put in like cashew milk from the carton. I'm super boring. I don't use creamer because I don't drink or consume dairy. So yeah, coconut milk at Starbucks too. To flavor it, nothing. To be honest, like, I think that's why I would rather spend a little bit more on that coffee grounds so that it tastes good so I don't need to put a bunch of, like, sugar in it. I also got a question, I can't remember who it was from, asking if YouTube reached out to me after Jeremy died. No. I'm so low on the YouTube. No. But I will say that, like, years ago, I don't even know how long it's been, I signed with like a YouTube management company called Broadband. And again, I'm like so low on their totem pole. Like, <laughs> um, I didn't even think anyone knew my name, but I got flowers from them delivered to my house. And that really touched me. I don't know who they were sent from or how they found out or how it even came across their radar, but that was really touching to me. But no. YouTube did not. YouTube's never contacted me. <laughs> There's this like YouTube school you can apply for. It's like the Creator Academy, but you have to have way more subscribers than I have. So when I reach that amount of subscribers, I will be applying for that because I'm pretty sure it's in New York, which is like, it's my life goal to live in New York. I actually was just thinking about that this morning because I follow a bunch of Instagram just New York photography accounts. I was like, how would Thomas and I ever do that? I'd have to make probably five times what I make now to be able to afford to live there. I got another question from Shannon asking about running a household and your own business. I have to ask, do you have any organizing tips, especially for all the documents, etc., etc.? So I'm going to save that because I owe you an office tour and my office is finally done. So I promise you that in this week I'll do an office tour as a video. Exciting. Tell you all about it. And then I'll also show you how I do some organizing for the business. 
Spoiler, I'm not very good at it. <laughs> but that's gonna be it for today's Q&A. Thanks so much for all your questions. I tried to answer a few less today because I feel like these get so rambly and disjointed and all over the place, but I know you guys really like them, so, and I really like them too, but I just don't want them to be an hour long. But we could do a Facebook Live Q&A. That would be fun. Farm owes us one. I know that he's on, a, on the top of everyone's list for me to do a Facebook Live. Okay, let me just quickly run through my makeup in case you're new here. It's the same usually every week. This is the Urban Decay Setting Sprout Sprouter Pout <laughs> All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. That's what it is. Once this is done, I'm gonna try the NYX one. But I used my Marcel foundation. Then I used my Kat Von D Locket Concealer, and I am in light, nope, neutral L9. This essence powder, which when I went to Shoppers the other day, they didn't have any, so are some of you buying it? That would be really exciting. I'm thrilled with that powder. I use a toothbrush, and then the blush that I used was this e.l.f. Light Palette that I just showed you. Ta-da. That's it for today. Oh, and then this is the contour palette I used, the Kat Von D Shade and Light. That's what it looks like, and I used this one today. So that's it. That's my makeup I used. And then I used the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise, but as every week, I'm not gonna do it here because I enjoy my eyeballs and I don't wanna poke them out. So that's it for today's Q&A. Please lace up and become a marathon or subscribe to my channel. Today, Thomas and I are just gonna have a pretty chill day. I'm washing his bedding right now. I'm gonna wash my car and vacuum it out because OMG, the smoke has lifted. Actual fresh air. So now I feel like I can wash the ash off of it and vacuum out the ash out of my car. I'm gonna wash my makeup brushes. We're gonna go to the cemetery and then I don't know what else, just after yesterday, getting through going to the wedding and seeing everybody, I feel like we really just are gonna have a quiet day today with not really answering to anyone and not being accountable to anyone and just kind of enjoying that. So subscribe to my channel, tell your friends, invite them to the Marathoner community, and I will see you tomorrow for a daily vlog. And also need to dry shampoo. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate your support and your questions. If you want to have me answer some of your questions in next week's video, just leave them below. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.